Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the re uh, the week of June 28th. Sorry, um, I'm out of breath because <laughs> I was just moving stuff around. I was not ready to uh, start, so let me just catch my breath here, Aries. But um, Aries, uh, let's see what is going on for you this week. We're just going to jump right in here and uh, take a look. Also, uh, Aries, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. On top of all that, make sure to only fo uh, to follow the uh, linked social media accounts down below. Uh, those are my official accounts. There are a lot of scammers and spammers and everything in between that are using my logo and everything else. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, they don't care. They just leave them up no matter how many times I report them. So, um, uh, what I would say is make sure to only follow those accounts. I will never do personal readings. I don't do personal readings and I will never ever contact you asking for money or anything else. So if, you know, uh, report those people who do that basically is what I'm trying to say. And don't send anybody money who's claiming to be me. But uh, let's see here, Aries, you have the uh, death and rebirth card. In this deck, it's just the death card. So clearly you could be going through a transformation here. It is interesting that the Five of Pentacles here came up in reverse. Uh, and I don't read reversals, but because um, I read intuitively, people always ask me, um, and I read intuitively. If, if you notice, sometimes I give a reverse meaning for a card. So uh, people always ask, why don't you read reversals? I, I do, but I, I do it intuitively. But what I would say here is that I do feel like that should have been in reverse. I feel like it's something, it's almost like what I'm feeling here, Aries, is that it's like, you know, I feel like you lost something twice <laughs> is the words that are popping into my head. But I also feel like you're, it's like you're in a much better place um, with the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is a card of victimhood. And, you know, it can be a card of calling attention to your weaknesses. It can represent something that makes you feel weak as well. But we go from the Five of Pentacles to the Fool to the Ten of Cups. This is like fortune after difficulty. This is major improvements here with the Ten of Cups. And what I would say here is that I feel like some of you lost something. It could have been a relationship for some of you. For others, it could have been like a job. It was just some sort of loss, right? And uh, it's like you almost were forced to walk away, I feel, with this Eight of Cups. It's like you didn't want to, but you know, sometimes we're, we're, we kind of have to, right? We have no choice. And um, you know, I feel like you are looking towards brighter days with that Ten of cups, you know, fortune after difficulty. I also love this death card. I mean, look, right in the middle of its this thing's face is that like new world. So I feel like you're stepping into a new world here, Aries. The page of wands is just you. I feel like that's just you showing up here because it's like you're going on a new adventure. Page of wands, fool to the page of swords here. It's just like you're kind of getting out there. Page of swords to me is you being open to being curious. Actually, both cards represent curiosity, the page of wands and the page of swords. I would say the page of swords is a little more research-based. It's kind of like you're doing it uh, to learn. The Page of Wands is a little bit more desire-based, right? It's like you're curious about something here, Aries, because you desire to something. You know, something is exciting or maybe something is inspirational to you. And this could be like a relationship. It could be a new person. It could be a business. It could be anything. And so that's like what I feel for you here. I kind of feel like you were pushed towards um, walking away from something. Again, for some of you, person. For others, it could be a business or a job. Yeah, yeah I feel like it took you a while to heal from this connection. Uh, if this was love... If this was a job loss, I feel like it's something that took you a while to heal from. Knight of Wands, card of desires. Knight of Wands, a card of um, pushing towards your desires very strongly as well. So, you know, the Knight of Wands to me is a card of desire. To me, to me, it is a card that says you should move towards your desires as well. It's a very spontaneous energy, and I do get that for you here. So don't be afraid to try new things. And you have the Four of Cups. Too many disappointments in this situation. It's like, I feel for some of you, it's like you're starting to see that something was not for you in, in the first place. You know, again, if it was a relationship, I do almost feel like you're losing attraction for a person. It's like one of those things where it's like you're start like I feel like you're starting to see flaws, and I, I I'm, I'm not saying this like you're being uh, materialistic or you know if, like you're being um, you know anything like that. Uh, I, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but <laughs> one of those other words, right? And I, I I just feel like you're seeing like wait a minute, I I really wasn't attracted to this person in the first place. If you lost a job, I feel like you're kind of saying to yourself, you know what? 
I really didn't want this job in the first place. I hated it. Hated going in there every single day. So it's like you're realizing that you're kind of that you can kind of move away from something. I also feel like you're taking more control over something here as well. You are an Aries, <laughs> and uh, you know you are the emperor, right? So I, I get, I do get like emperor vibes here, which is very good for you, Aries. I feel like that kind of puts you in a position of power and strength, even though it's not here. It might show up. And uh, I feel like you're ready for something new. Uh, next, you have this pig spirit. You say, use, it says, uh, use your mind wisely. Uh, I love this card. Number one, this is a pig that has wings. So, you know, there's a saying, when pigs fly. So basically, I feel like pigs are flying. Something is happening. Something is improving in your life here with this energy. I almost feel like you're finding gold here as well. Um, so, it, it, like, I feel like you're kind of figuring out what you need to work on. Uh, so I like that. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Queen of Swords. Like I said, I feel like you're very clear on things now, Aries. There's like a sense of clarity here in this reading. Even the Queen of Swords here, she's putting, you know, she's sitting this facing this direction. She's, as I always say, she's the only queen who has her... Um, who's facing sideways, right? And she has her back to everything that's on this side of the reading. I really feel you're like a very, I feel that very strongly. And you have several cards here that really represent moving forward. Knight of Pentacles, he's facing this direction as well. He's a card of kind of like one foot in front of the other. He's really working towards the future. He's really pushing forward. And you have the fool here as well. The fool is facing the wrong way. He's facing this way, but it doesn't really matter. He's taking a leap of faith away from something. He's having a new beginning. His intentions are very pure as well. He's holding a white rose, and that white rose represents purity. So it's kind of like, for some reason, that's popping into my head. And for some reason, it's popping into my head as important. And it's also popping into my head as like, your intentions are pure. You're going the right direction. This dog is also kind of nipping at his heels going this direction as well. So I feel there's like a great opportunity that is coming in for you here, Aries. Let's see where this opportunity is going. Two of Swords. Yeah, don't get stuck. I mean, I, I just feel like this energy is, you know, I, there is a very strong follow the crowd energy, I would say, and I would just go the other direction. I mean, I literally, I might have said this to you in your recent three-month reading for July through whatever that is, September, and, um, you know, again, I, I do get this very strong energy of kind of like people kind of like panicking over things, like it could be anything, and I would just say go the other direction in any area of your life. Yeah, you have this Six of Swords, definitely healing, definitely moving moving forward. And you have the King of Cups here as well. Definitely more in control of your emotions, I feel, with the King of Cups. So I feel like that's kind of like part of your clarity that's going on here. I also feel like saying in this middle row here that you feel something. Uh, there's some sort of change in your feelings, like something feels right. If you're, you know, working on a new project or working on a new business, I feel like something feels right. It's like you're, it's almost like a click. You know, I always say that. Um, Sometimes I think we just kind of click into place, right? We kind of click in to where, where where we're supposed to be or what we're supposed to do. And that's where we find success. The Two of Swords here, It's like I said, you have the Page of Wands, Page of Swords here. I would say that really if you're struggling like in work or business and you're wanting to see more growth, Two of Swords, don't ask me why, Aries, but what's, pop what's popping in my head is the hangman. And what I would say there is I feel like you need to look at things from a different point of view. So if you have a business, you know, the two of swords to me could be saying there's another way of doing things. It could, with the two pages here, it could also be education as well. I think that, you know, learning just tiny little things can be, um, you know, can really improve your business with this type of reading here. We don't see a lot of financial cards here. That doesn't matter to me. Again, I read intuitively. So I feel like you're going to have to really dig. You know, they use pigs to find uh, truffles, the really expensive mushrooms, right? And so the, the pigs basically find gold. Truffles are worth their weight in gold. And um, that's popping into my head with this pig card is it's like, I feel like you could be finding gold, but as I always say, it's like you have to move a lot of dirt to get to the gold. So I do feel that there are, like there's, it's like the information exists, right? And the information is all around you for how to be successful, especially in business or work. But it's like, you're gonna have to dig through and find it. Again, I'm living proof, you know, uh, is what I'd say. I'm not here to brag Aries, but it's like this channel, my channel, I was stuck for years, right? There were people who were outgrowing me who started like a year ago, right? Right? And then um, I just started learning as much as I possibly could about YouTube, tarot reading, um, improving my tarot readings, pretty much everything, right? And here I am. So, you know, again, I would encourage you to do that. It, it is worth it. You will never look back 
and you, you won't look back and regret learning, right? You won't look back and regret do, kind of like improving your skills. And that's really what this row is saying to me for some reason. Again, pigs are symbols of luck, wealth, um, abundance, pretty much all those things. So I feel like all those things could be coming in for you here. Uh, next, you have the two of the sea card here. It's funny that you have the six of swords twice right here, and both of them have a boat, and then you have the boat right here. So clearly, you are moving on to calmer shores here, Aries. You have the six of swords, improve Improvements, moving on to calmer shores, Ten of Cups, Fortune After Difficulty, and again, this is probably how Page of Swords, research, learning, learning as much as you can, doing your research, digging into things, being curious, that's going to be kind of like the best thing for you to do here. For some of you, I feel... I do feel like a release here where with that six of swords, it's almost like you're letting something go. It's like there's just this release, but I don't think, it's not like you're cutting something out. It's more like, I feel like you're letting go of outcome. You know, it's like you're just releasing the need to have a certain outcome. Maybe you're releasing expectations is popping into my head here as well, Aries. And again, sometimes I think when we do that, it's like then the, the, the floodgates open, right? Everything flows into our lives. So when we, when we just kind of just say, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to live my life. I'm just going to do what, you know, what I, whatever I need to do. Right. And that's kind of like what I feel for you here. I'm probably going to pull an extra row for you, Aries, to get a final outcome, but let's see where this is going. You have the uh, temperance card here. You, I feel like you have been very patient. You have been trying to, I feel like you have been trying to change your situation to the best of your ability. So I, like, I do not want to discount the work that you have done. That's what I feel like the temperance card is saying. It is like saying you have tried to change. Like, I feel like you have tried to improve your love life. You've tried to improve your uh, work life, your business life, your health, everything. It's like things are just not, um, you know, things have not been progressing as much as you would like. But I feel like they're about to. Ace of Wands, new beginning with that Ten of Cups. Ace of Wands is my favorite card in the deck. It is kind of like the new beginning that you've been waiting for. It is the roots going down into the soil. So it's like if you're feeling inspired, again, I would really, these two pages are really standing out to me. Again, I feel like there is something that is coming in for you here, Ace of Wands, that's like both ins inspirational and exciting and something that you actually want to learn about as well. For some of you, I definitely feel this is in work or business. It's, it's like there's something that excites you again mentally and also just excites you because it's fun and exciting just in general. I would, you know, again, if that makes sense to you, then I would pay attention to whatever that is and I would put in the work. For others, could be a person as well. We have this King of Cups here with the Queen of Swords. Could be an air sign coming in for you, Aries. Could be any sign. This is just a general reading. But I feel like it's both like a, a mentally uh, stimulating connection and it's also a very solid like love connection as well. You know, but I would say those are like the two sides of things that would be, um, you know, kind of the best parts, if that makes sense, of the connection. You know, very passionate, but also very mentally stimulating as well. Um, you know, maybe intellectually, intellectually, you are on the same level in this connection. So uh, I would definitely say that's new love here. Yeah, death card, definitely going through a major transformation. You're going through a change. I think this is why things have been challenging for you for the past few months. It's like you, it's almost like the universe is pointing out some uh, weaknesses here. And again, I'm not calling you weak, Aries, but five of pentacles. I feel like it's almost like the universe has been plucking at something like a pain point in your life. That's the best way I could, I could describe that energy there with the Five of Pentacles. It's like, you know, if you have an injury and the universe keeps picking at it, you know, then it's just going to make it worse. But it's more annoying than anything. And that's what I feel like you've been dealing with. It's like something it keeps getting pointed out to you, right? And in a very simple way, I feel like this reading is saying you're overcoming whatever that challenge is. So pretty simple reading. I hope that makes sense. But uh, what's the final outcome here, Aries? You showing up in a very strong position. I feel like you're more open. Queen of Wands is more open. She's the only uh, Wands court card that does not have salamanders on her cloak. And it kind of represents the fact that, you know, salamanders represent pr uh, protection from fire. And she's the only one that isn't protected from fire, but she's very bold, very assertive, and she's willing to take a risk, regardless of the fact that she's not really protected from these risks that she's taking. She's willing to take them anyway. Yeah, she's willing to see what happens. Five of Wands. Five of Wands going on the adventure. You know, Five of Wands is a card of conflict and competition, but as I always say, it is a card of learning. They are learning how to fight. They have wands. They don't have swords. They're not killing each other. They're training. They are learning how to fight, right? So I feel for a lot of you, it's like you're doing a lot of learning at this time. Page of Cups, definitely could be a new lot coming in for you, by the way. 
But again, the Page of Cups is you working towards some sort of like dream here, Aries, something that you want. For some of you, I feel like a dream has developed is what's popping into my head. Like maybe you always, you know, I like I, <laughs> what's popping into my head here is it's like one of those things. Maybe you've never known what you want to be when you grow up. And again, it doesn't matter how old you are, right? Uh, maybe you're like 70 years old and you still don't know what you want to be when you grow up. It's like there's a new dream um, that you have been developing over the past few years, I feel. And it's kind of like becoming more and more solid, right? So I feel for some of you, you're going to be living the dream here. Yeah, you have the world. Definitely, you're going to accomplish anything that you charge after with that Queen of Wands. High Priestess, trust your intuition for sure. Queen of Wands has a black cat on her card. And so again, she might not have protection from fire, but she has intuition. So trust your intuition. And you have the uh, Ten of Swords as well. I feel like you're definitely letting go of something from the past here. And it's, I, I feel like you're seeing that it's holding you back in the first place. Again, I, I keep getting relationship here. But again, remember what I was saying about something happening twice. You know, it's almost like you lost something twice here. Um, and I feel like it made you feel very left out in the cold. Could have been a relationship. Like maybe you lost, got out of a relationship, got back into it, lost it, and again. But it's like now you're finally seeing it's better to let it go. I feel like you're seeing how it's like you had to go through this loss twice because I feel like it like showed you how the, it was holding you back in the first place, the relationship or whatever this was, right? Or whatever loss you experienced uh, twice was. It doesn't have to be the same thing either. Um, you know, again, maybe you got one job, you got fired. Maybe you got another one and got fired. You know, I feel like there was some sort of double loss here for some of you. And it's like now you're seeing how it was holding you back in the first place. Uh, but definitely a lot of good stuff coming in for you here, Aries. I'm trying to see what else. I would just say, and, and again, learn as much as you possibly can about anything new that is exciting to you. But uh, I like this. So thank you for being here, Aries. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.